Right, there's seven plates in the middle, which are seven um, negative plates. They're all connected together with um, stainless steel washers, so they're all connected. Uh, and positive plate on the outside of the plastic there, positive plate on the outside of the plastic here. And it's all zip tied around. So, as you can see at the moment, uh, <coughs> oh, I'm choked by the fumes. Um, should be wearing a gas mask, really. Um, the bubbles are sort of forming on the inside of the negative there. You can just see on the, the positive side there and there. Uh, it's just rippling. There's no major bubbles on that part. Um, this is also for um, HHO for volts who ask for a um, shot of the top. Um, yeah. Also, I've got my resident blackbird in the background. Who has a little white splotch. Black and white blackbird. Uh, yeah, so um, that's what the cell's doing at the moment. I'm going to try and uh, ignite those bubbles at the moment. It seems very strange with this cell um, when I actually pop these bubbles, you're not getting that same sort of crack that you usually get uh, with the normal with the normal cell, um, you know, a violent crack. It just sort of seems to ignite and seems to have a sort of slow flame, that sort of, or just a slower flame that sort of ignites in there. It does also ignite on this side as well with a crack on the positive side. So I don't know whether this is actually working on the same base as um, zero 0.132 is showing. Um, uh, on his little video, it was actually showing uh, the HHO, uh, the hydrogen rather, all gathering in one place and the oxygen coming up in the other place. But um, I think with this, it's, as, as the bubbles join the top, they seem to be joining a bit. I'm just going to have a go at. Um, Igniting those, if I can find me lighter, just somewhere around here. Yeah, they sort of seem to light in sort of a slow flame. We don't get that usual violent crack. So there's obviously something else going on there. Also, it's just as well that this is um, outside because uh, I had a few little whiffs of the fumes coming up there. And I'm probably getting some chlorine gases there. <coughs> if you're doing this, you don't want to be doing it inside. Yeah, you can see that bubbles have just um, all gathered in the middle again. On the uh, volts, um, it's, it's been powered by Powerstar PS50, sending out 13.8 volts. But the actual cell is drawing, if you can see here, I've got connected this. It's just under 13 volts. 12.96 and the amps um, I'm not going to move the camera because uh, I'll be able to get it in the same position again but I'm just looking at the amps and um, <coughs> we've got about um, five six it's about six point 
6.5 just coming up to about 7 amps you can hear that sound it's just the uh, fan coming on on my power system yeah so as I say you're not getting a lot of, a lot of production on the um, with the HHO on this system, it's just an experimental cell, just sort of interested in what's going on really. Um, I tested it yesterday and I was getting about uh, 50 millilitres, um, what was that, per minute. So it's taken about five minutes to get about, um, well, just to get 250. <laughs> Five minutes to get 250 milliliters. So I suppose it'd be 20 minutes to get a liter, which is not a lot. But the cell gets quite hot, uh, and I've been talking to some other guys, uh, Sky Saber and uh, Krista Defelt. Uh, been talking about steam as well. Um, so anyway, I'm going to I'm going to try and um, I'm going to put this cell on the van and see what. You know, if I get any increase in the mileage, I mean, the cell I've got on there at the moment, um, I've turned the, the sort of volts and amps right down to about seven, uh, to about seven, yeah, seven amps, and I've been getting 23 percent increase on it. Um, so at the end of the day, it's not all about how many liters per minute you can produce. Um, I'm pretty sure of that. And as far as the um, brown gunk goes, I'm not sure as it's completely to do with the configuration of this cell or um, from stuff I've been reading and stuff I've been doing, uh, it looks like it's the low amps, um, you know, and volts that are uh, keeping the brown gunk down. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, just going to ignite these again. Try it on the other side. You can't see any bubbles. Yeah, so I think it is mostly mostly oxygen on the positive side. You get the odd bubble come through. It's got a bit of hydrogen in. It's just escaping through the edge. Uh, just ignite those again. Yeah, it's pretty sort of slow burn with the hydrogen without the oxygen in. Maybe when the hydrogen, the oxygen is mixed with the hydrogen, you get more of a crack. Anyway, I'm going to wind this up now. Um, this is the second uh, video in the little series of uh, Zero Brown Gunk. Inspired by a 0 0.132. Flying Dr. C out. I'll check you later, people.